Hello everyone! Today we will be discussing about the Factor Theorem. So cool! I want to get started already! The Factor Theorem is the result of the Remainder Theorem and is based on the same reason. As the Remainder Theorem points out, if you divide a polynomial P of, P of X by a factor X minus A of that polynomial, then you will get a zero remainder. For example, given the three binomials, which of these are a factor of f of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 5x plus 4. If you are to do the long division method on the three binomials, it will take a very long time to solve. Instead, we would be using the factor theorem. The factor theorem works similarly with the remainder theorem, and you would only substitute the x values of the binomials into the function f of x. In this case, substituting to f of x is equal to 22. In order for the binomial to be a factor, the remainder must be 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is sadly not a factor. Now let us use the factor theorem on the second binomial. The remainder would be 10. And therefore, the binomial is not a factor. Lastly, let us try using the factor theorem on the binomial x minus 1. The remainder is 0. And this means x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. Wow! This method is shorter. Way better than using long division for the three binomials. Continue to find new factors that can be divisible by the new polynomial if you want to compound, if you completely factor it, if you want to. Oh, I understand now. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, punch the like button and we will see you in the next video. Bye.